Welcome to the channel everybody. I just want to say real quick, thank you guys for watching so much lately. A lot of you have been loving the Titan XD content and subscribing and watching and I just really do appreciate it. Today though the video is not going to be about the Titan, it is going to be about the S14 240 SX. This little project I've had sitting here, we put four wiring harnesses on this car as you can see. Well actually we actually only put three. There's there's the fourth one sitting there because, well, the guy lied to me and uh, he actually ended up cutting this one in half. You'll see that later in the video though. But um, yeah, so the install went pretty well. There's a lot we're gonna have to fix later on in other videos. I'm just gonna throw on other videos like uh, little pieces like this and the battery terminal things and all that and get a little cover for this. And there's a lot of little lights and stuff we have to get, but the install went really well. And as you can see, there's just stuff sitting on there. But Plenty of wiring in this car. There was no directions, we just kinda had to figure it out. But let's go ahead and jump into the video of installing all of these, cause it took like eight hours. So I was actually just pulling out the next harness to go in and pull it in, and this guy told me that there were a few little things on the engine bay harness that were messed up, and he sent pictures of it, and then he told me that every other harness was completely fine, no issues whatsoever, and he sent pictures, but it turns out he just showed me what he wanted me to see. Because if you look right here, where was it? Why'd I, why'd I drop the line? Oh, here it is. So you have all these wires running to here, and then they're just cut. So. That's what we call a lie. I found a, another mid-body harness, which this one's only 170 bucks, so it's annoying I had to spend an extra 170 bucks on the build, but I'm gonna do it, because I kinda have to do it. This is the wire that is that one right there, right, right there. And as you can see, there's two plugs right there. Those are these two plugs, and then the wire runs from here down, which mine does not do, and we have three plugs stemming from it. That one right there, and then those two right there. So I am missing three important plugs. That's annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and order this body harness. What I'm doing is as I'm doing this, I'm making a list of things I'm gonna need to order as I'm, as I'm doing everything. Like for example, I need a new light bulb up there. there it just doesn't, doesn't have it. I need the battery terminal pieces up there. I need a new mid body harness and a few other like little pieces of the blinker and stuff for that one. So I'm kind of making a list and that's why I don't have a lot of these things because if I don't start tearing into these wires like I'm doing today, I won't know what I have and don't have. So uh, that's what today's video is, is wiring most of the car and figuring out what we need. Thank God the dash harness and the fuse box are pretty much okay. They are usable, need a little repairs, but they are usable, thank God, because those are the ones that are expensive and then the fuse box one is extremely hard to find. So these two, I'm not that worried about. Okay, so next up I'm gonna do the dash harness, which runs all through here and connects everything together. Um, I'm doing this one next because I think it's gonna be the hardest one of them all. So this is how I think it runs. I know this looks crazy. And you're like, what do you mean? But I know this panel connects the other harnesses and this is obviously the fuse panel, which sits right there. I know that for a fact. So given that, that that would be there, I figure that it would come out like this. This would go over the, over the AC stuff. I assume this is all like the radio and uh, dash wiring and all that. That's why it's out like this. And then this stuff, goes around here and goes down to here. These are the plugs that go to these, the door, uh, the harness stuff. I'm like 90% sure I got this right in the sense of where it's gonna go. Now it's just about putting it in. Is that an OBD2 port scanner thingy? I don't know, I don't know what any of this is. Whoa, 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 why did I do that off camera? I'm sorry guys, I did this off camera, but I saw the little slot. Look at that, it fits an AC. Okay, so we know something fits here and we know that this is for this general area, so I've proven that theory. As for these two clamps that go in, in, in here and up there, uh, I'm not sure. I may just have to get a new apparatus for this that does fit these wires. I'm not really sure what that's about yet. Maybe we'll figure it out, maybe we won't. Okay, so I think I got to a good point to update you guys. Everything is starting to make a lot more sense, except for the wiper blade motors. I still don't understand where the plugs are, that where these are, I don't I have no clue. But besides for that, Everything's working well. I do need to put this line behind this bar so I can connect everything down in here. But I found a ton of the lines that go to the AC 
So that was good. Then I found these clips for here. So that's supposed to go there. Run the wire like that. Everything's working really, really well so far. Um, I just need to run a few things. And then also, this took a while to figure out, but I ran the harness down here. And then look at that. Everything clipped in perfectly right there. It, lo it looks perfect exactly where it needs to be. That makes me feel much better that everything is in there perfectly. So a lot of these things up here are gonna end up staying loose because they are for speedometer or stuff like that. And there's obviously no speedometer and there's like a, gonna be a cruise control button, even though I'm not, I'm probably not gonna have cruise control. Um, but there's gonna be all these little buttons up here that these are for. So some of these are gonna end up being loose by the end of this video and all that, which is okay. But most of this is gonna be tied up and looking good. So since the camera's been off, I've done a lot of just sitting here and just thinking about where I want everything to go and how everything should go. And then I remembered these wires go to things like, like I've been saying, the speedometer, the radio, and the AC thingy-majiggy. So this one's broken. I'm gonna have to get a new thingy-majiggy, but I figure we can use this one to test if this is where all the wires go. It's really hard to do in film, but let me do it real quick without the, oh, wait, no, I can do it with the camera. That's one extra little thing I understand and know about this wiring harness. I don't understand these two yet. I assume those are for something that has a lot of power because it has relays with it. Uh, something kind of complicated, so maybe the speedometer or something. So that's fine that that's there, I get it. Uh, these things, I did see on a picture that these do run right here and that this black one will be mounted somewhere like that. So I don't, and on the video I saw the dude didn't have his speedometer and stuff, so I assume that's something like that. Um, Again, I still haven't figured out these things. Um, I still haven't figured out the wiper motor thingy Uh And then there's like these two dangling over here. I don't know what that is. Those two right there. Okay guys, so I just had a little stroke of genius and I wanted to share it with you. Again, this is me just figuring this stuff out. Um, so these wires, th that wire on this thing, we have not been able to, on the wiper blade motor thing, we have not been able to figure out where they go to, right? As almost if they're not here, which they're not. And then I was thinking about something. I'm like, wait, this is wiper blades and the brights and stuff and the lights and all that. And I'm like, that's all exterior stuff. Wouldn't the exterior harness have that? And so then I started walking over here with this piece for it and I just realized something, and this is a big headache out of the way. Look at that, that right there on the exterior harness. Oh wait, no, that's not the piece. Damn it. Another thing I realized about this, the previous owner, he kind of did a lot of his own wiring, he told me. He told me that he ripped out all the harnesses and just kind of figured things out for himself. And if you look at his clips from the previous thing, if you were gonna upgrade a wire, you would definitely do bigger wire. And you would also have a little stitch thing right here like he does. And if you found out that you didn't need all eight wires of some apparatus, you would probably just wire four. So I think that's what he did because he only need the wipe, needed the wiper blades and the uh, headlights, which is that right there. And so I'm thinking that's why this one has more wires, not that it's that different. So I'm thinking this will work just fine. Another way to confirm this, let's go see how many pins that clip actually has. If it has eight, then we know that my theory is correct. If it has four, oh, that's not good for the wires. If it has four, it has eight. So my theory is correct, everything will work just fine. We have figured out almost everything for the wiring. The only stuff we haven't figured out so far, this thing, this thing, these, and that. Cool. Okay, so we got the wires tucked behind here. It's kind of hard to film, so I didn't film it. Also, it looks terrible and I didn't want y'all to see that. But now we just gotta get these wires down into here and that'll be pretty easy, so. Let's put that one there, that one there. Y'all see, building the car is so easy. Isn't that right, Josh? Josh it's, like, it's like Legos. Yeah, it's like Legos. All right, guys, so we're pretty much ready to start the next harness because we are done with this. Everything is all wired up over here. All the clips are somewhere. And then this stuff is still open, but I think that's for the next harness, uh, the mid-body harness. And then this is the OBD2 port, so I can't plug it in to anything because it never gets plugged in. When you tune it, you plug things into that. So that's gonna bolt up to the dash. So that's just gonna hang for a while. These are, I'm like 98% sure, these are the brake lights ones. So I need to get a new brake pedal, a stock brake pedal, because this is a racing one that doesn't have any wiring. And then everything for the speedometer is, is wired up. Everything for the little uh, hood that goes around the speedometer is wired up. 
The This is an extra wire. I'm just gonna wait till I have the new harness on to do anything with that because I wanna make sure that it fits there, it probably does. The harness will go for the windshield wiper apparatus there. The next harness. And uh, yeah, everything's bolted up. So I ran it in the stock location. Um, so it all looks factory, looks good. I'm very happy with it. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. Um, as you can see down here, that's a really cool looking part. Just looks like I know more of what I'm doing than I am because it looks cool. But So let's go ahead and get on to the next harness, which is going to involve drilling. I've never used one of these. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Maybe, hold on. <laughs> I should probably move these nice new wires out of the way. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, that would have been so bad. I forgot. I did it! We're putting the fuse box on and we already made a mistake. Uh, we were threading the bolt in and then it snapped off the head. So that was nice. It's kind of scary only having this much blade. Yeah. I feel like it could just shatter at any moment. And just... it, it probably will. I'm gonna keep going. Okay. <laughs> so we went on ahead and mounted up the fuse box. So it's right there. And yes, all these fuses are gonna be replaced because they're in terrible condition. And this is where the positive terminal wires are gonna be, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna run the harness right here through here all like that around and then through the hole that we drilled right there and then we'll do the interior stuff so due to the fact that we're running out of daylight i will catch up with you guys in a second whenever we have this thing in the garage and we'll have the wires all the way to the interior part and then we'll wire the rest in the garage so you guys can see it because uh yeah we're running out of daylight yeah it's getting dark clearly we lost all of the daylight but we got the front the uh engine body the engine and motor engine bay harness on. Oh, camera's about to die. We gotta run through this hole uh, and tucked up in the fender. And right now he's putting the dash bar back in. It's not easy, by the way. Yeah, so we can turn the car and get it in here because the steering wheel's locked. Yeah, thanks for watching. And that is it all put together. I hope you guys enjoyed the video of wiring the car. As you can see, nothing's really any different than uh, where we left off. So in order to complete the wiring, I need to get a mid-body harness, radio, passenger pillar speaker, brake pedal, rear trunk light, headlight stuff in front, that's uh, like the headlights and the blinkers and stuff. Uh, fuse box cover, starter cable and positive terminal, uh, battery, negative terminal, terminal, battery mount, new speakers, new fuses, headlights, blinkers, headlight stuff in, wait, what? Why do I have it twice? Oh, headlight stuff in front is actually uh, where these wires are cut, where these wires are cut and stuff. But wiring specialties, the people who are gonna make my engine harness make all that. One thing I realized that I didn't have figured out this entire time is these three little connectors. And I was like, huh, maybe that's just a uh, stock 240 thing that I don't really need. And then I looked at some pictures of some people with LS swaps and these are plugged in. So, uh, gonna have to figure that out. Another thing I need to figure out is what the heck this wire is. I don't know where any of these go. I haven't seen them on any other cars. I haven't seen anything about them, so I need to figure that out. Another thing I didn't cover in the video that I'm gonna cover now, all these extra wires right here that I was talking about, I did confirm those are radio wires. All I did was watch a video of somebody redoing a radio and those are the wires. So what's left on this car to get it finished is going to be three or four main things we need to do. Obviously there's a lot of little things. The main things are we need to go in ahead and get an engine and rebuild the engine. I'm 90% sure, I'm not going to say for certain because I've said for certain engine stuff in the past and ended up changing it. So I'm not going to say for certain, but I'm 90% sure I am going to get an engine that I'm going to have to rebuild. So we're going to do a full rebuild series on the channel, which will be really fun and pretty difficult. I'm going to kind of test my skill on that one. So we need to get the engine, get the rebuild kits, take it to the uh, machine shop to get reboard for bigger pistons all this kind of crazy stuff. Then the transmission stuff. We need to have that transmission tunnel fabricated, have the transmission mounts a little less wide, have them more narrow so we can actually fit the transmission. And then we need to install the clutch. We need to bleed the clutch line. We need a new master cylinder, which is over there. The flywheel adapter for the engine so we can actually put the transmission on the engine. Then the other thing we need to do is the rear end of the car. We, we're not gonna be able to even drive this car in the slightest if we don't get this rear end finished. 
So there's gonna be two videos about that. So the first video is going to be installing a two-way diff on here. So if you guys wanna know what that is or how we're, it's gonna go in or just see that video in general, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss it. And while we're installing the two-way diff, we're gonna look under there and see everything that needs to be replaced in the rear end because there is a lot. And then we will go ahead and do a second video of actually replacing all that stuff, painting, powder coating, uh, all that stuff. It's gonna be a fun video, but it is gonna be a little tedious. Then there's the drive shaft. We have to get a custom drive shaft made to mate the uh, Z32 transmission with the rear end whenever we're done. And that's just like the three big points, the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. Once that is done, mechanically the car should be running. After that, we just gotta get interior pieces for the car, uh, fender's hood, bumper, we gotta get things wrapped, uh, different body panels like the rear bumper, the side skirts, the wing. Um, what else? There's so much on this build. You guys wouldn't actually believe it if I showed you everything. Once the car is finished, I will do a video of breaking down every single little mod we did to the car, which is gonna be crazy. There's a lot. I also found out that these coilovers are like completely shot and also they're not really good coilovers to start with. So we're gonna have to spend like an extra $1,100 to get coilovers. That's gonna be lovely. Um, gotta get custom AC lines made to fit the engine. If you guys didn't see the video where we installed this brake booster delete and this new master cylinder from Chase Bay's, link in the description. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because we have to do more Chase Bay stuff. We have to do the power steering reservoir, the uh, coolant expansion tank, the fuel pressure regulator, and Chase Bay's fuel lines. It's gonna be kind of crazy. I even have a radiator in that, in that, um, Closet, why couldn't I think of the word closet? All I'm trying to do is just give a perspective for how crazy this build actually is. So go on ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any content of this being built because there's going to be plenty, plenty of 240SX videos coming. The next video you see will either be some of the rear end stuff or it may be actually getting the engine. I found one locally and I'm like 70% sure I'm gonna go on ahead and get this engine probably like tomorrow or the next day. I still need to look at information about rebuilding this kind of engine and uh, yeah, so we'll reveal what engine we are doing. I know I've said LS in the past, I know I've said VH45, and I will say it's definitely gonna be a V8, but I'm still 100, not 100% decided which exact V8 I'm gonna do. Um, so we'll see you in the next video. But I'll stop rambling because I know I'm just going on and on and on about this car. With that being said, thanks for stopping on the channel. Go and subscribe, hit the notification bell, browse the rest of the videos, and I'm out.